Honourable Member Berry, which relates to estate regeneration ballots. Thank you, Chair. A good estate regeneration can deliver safe, safer and better quality homes for local people and provide a valuable contribution to the overall supply of homes. However, if, if not done properly, estate regeneration can lead to disagreement between residents and their landlords, resulting in residents feeling they have not been consulted, social housing being lost, and displaced tenants and leaseholders getting a bad deal. That's why in February I published my Good Practice Guide to Estate Regeneration, which sets out the best practice approaches and principles I expect to be followed in estate regeneration schemes in London. I'm sure you welcome this. This guide was published following extensive consultation on a draft last year. My final guide is designed to help improve the standard of consultation and involvement by putting residents at the heart of developing plans wherever estate regeneration is proposed. I set out in the guide two key ways in which I intend to use the powers available to me. First, I'll use my planning powers and schemes of 150 homes or more, the normal threshold for applications to be referred to me to ensure no net loss of affordable housing and an uplift in affordable homes wherever possible. Second, in the guide I also make clear how I'll use my funding powers to require resident support through a ballot for major schemes. That's why I'm consulting on a proposed funding condition to require residents' ballots where GLA funding is sought. The consultation outlines proposed transitional arrangements that will apply following the implementation of my new funding condition. These arrangements are designed to ensure that the condition applies to only to new proposals for estate regeneration rather than those which are already underway. It may seem clear-cut for some schemes whether they are new or underway, but I recognise there has to be a cut-off point somewhere, which is why I'm consulting on the details of these arrangements. I can confirm that no GLA funding contracts for new estate regeneration schemes will be signed until after the consultation has closed and the precise details of the funding condition have been finalised and published. That's great. Thank you, Ms. Assembly Member Berry, had you finished? Had I finished? No, I barely started. Thank you, Chair. Okay, go for it. Um, Thank you, Mr. Matt. I think uh, before, before we, we broke up there briefly, um, you had confirmed that you would not be signing off any new GLA funding contracts during this period of consultation before your new funding guidance comes in. Is that, is that correct? I can confirm that no GLA funded contracts for new estate regeneration schemes will be signed until after the consultation is closed and the precise details of the, of the funding condition have been finalised and published. When you say new estate regeneration schemes, you mean you, know, you just won't sign any new, new contracts? I'll be, I'll, be, so I'll be signing no new funding contracts until yeah. consultation ended Yeah, we've published the, um, the final code. Great, that's what I thought you said. Um, I wanted to say something about um, some research I've commissioned um, through YouGov. Um, this yeah, was I've with... Seen it. No, not yet, I'm just telling you about it. <laughs> this is with a representative sample um, of Londoners. And I know the consultation came out very much in favour of ballots, um, but so does the poll of Londoners. 64% um, of people agreed with your new policy, 13% opposed the idea, and I hope you'll find that encouraging to know that Londoners as a whole think you're doing the right thing by putting the right to a ballot in place for estate residents. Um, just a few more things about the, um, the pause in contracts, if that's okay. Um, what will you do um, when it comes back for councils who are trying to use the exception that you've set out, where you say you might take into account consultations already held and not require a ballot, even if those consultations were not a ballot held under the terms of your guidance, will you be seeking to, to allow councils to, to say their, their previous consultations were okay? That seems to be what your, your draft technical consultation says. So, if you require funding, for any state regeneration mm -hmm. that involves the demolition of even one home, it's got to be a scheme more than 150 for the reasons you're aware of, mm -hmm. then there needs to be a ballot. I think the issue you may be referring to is where there is planning permission for a redevelopment, regeneration, it requires, and, and, and there'll be X percent of affordable homes, and the council says we can have X plus Y percent, we can have even more affordable homes, with some financial support. And that's where I think that, that, that's, I think, what the... No, 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 this is an exception to holding a ballot. And you say, um, if the council's already held its own consultation, even if it's not 
under the strict terms of your guidance, i.e. not actually a ballot but a you know, daughter or survey or, or something else. Um, and if that's, uh, if that's already happened, you, you've said that you might let them have an exception to a ballot. Um, is, is that right? I mean, surely you should be sticking to the, to the guidance for everything, especially if you're going to have a pause. It gives them time to do a ballot. Well, I, I've set up my, my answer today. But obviously, well, well, the consultation is the consultation. Um, my expecta the expectation you should have of me is when it comes to um, uh, us looking at the final funding code, uh, I'll be saying to anybody who wants funding, you must, if you're dem demolishing a home, mm -hmm. have a ballot. But there's the, the discussion about the transitional uh, arrangements of those schemes already in play where there's, there's two separate issues. One is planning permission, mm -hmm. one is funding. Uh, so there, there could be a situation where a, a funding agreement's been signed off before this happening, mm -hmm. um, where permission not gone through. That's an example where uh, we'd be breaching contract to remove funding, mm. and, but I'd be, my expectation would be not simply consultation and engagement. I'd be hoping, although although I can't force you to respectively because the, the group's yeah, been signed. Yeah, but where you've not signed it, you're expecting them to get on with ballots. Exactly no. right. Great, exactly thank you. Right. Cheers.